Hey guys, I'm so excited. But I just wanted to run out to the garden and just give you guys a quick update on what we can find. So as you guys can see, I'm totally losing the battle with the squash beetles. I do have a couple small pumpkins. I just don't know if there's gonna be enough time with the amount of life left in the vines. So I'm just gonna watch and wait. This is still a really healthy zucchini plant. Um, look, see the squash beetle right here? But he hasn't gotten this plant yet, but we're going to see, uh, grab some tomatoes out here. I saw them somewhere. Oh, they're there. Let's show them the corn. This is a sad sad disaster. So multiple wind storms have knocked down my corn. And the corn that grew, let me just grab one. Like it should be done by now. And I got these puny little ears. I'll show you. It's a disaster. They're like only half developed. That's actually good compared to what I've been getting. But I think it's just going to be goat food. So again, these are just random um, tomato plants I had left over that I threw in this barn clean out bed. And they're doing pretty good. Oh, there's another zucchini. Oh, nice cucumber in there. Hey, that one's still growing okay, but this one is dead, dead, dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull him off before he gets eaten from the inside out. He'll make a cute little decoration. So I had a really great year with my sunflowers. They're ginormous. Some of the heads I need to go ahead and harvest because they're done before the birds get them. But they got so big, a couple of them actually fell over, like this one. They were just way too big. But I've got a lot of tomatoes in here that need to be harvested. So that's what we're gonna do. I know you've heard it all before, but you are the love of my life. door that you are the love of my life so the brussels sprouts are doing okay um they're a little chewed on like i told you last video the plants got destroyed by something i might get a serving or so harvest which is fine whatever um, I really, oh, you're still filming? I really want to get harvesting on my sweet potatoes, but they're still just growing like gangbusters. In fact, here's all the sweet potatoes, this whole patch down. Um, there's a couple random potato, normal potato plants in there. They just got left over from last year. But I don't know. I guess I keep digging. Like I want, I don't know where I would find them, to be honest with you. So we're going to have to just dig in here once these start dying back before a frost for sure. So these pepper plants are amazing. I still have flowers coming on and they are loving this cooler weather. So that's awesome. And uh, we're, we're liking this belt, uh, purple sweet potato, um, peppers. The jalapenos are still doing great. And we had just canned a whole bunch of jalapeno candy. So, I think my pepper plants, I don't know if it's normal, but they definitely always do better in the, like this cooler weather, cold nights, warm days. Look at this pepper plant. Okay, I'm standing. And it, I mean, it is in a raised bed, but not that raised, maybe six inches or so. So it's a really big plant. 
I still have not done any harvesting of nasturtiums yet. You guys keep bugging me. Tell me to do it because I really want to. And I've got just so many nasturtium leaves that I could harvest. The fall peas are doing great. They're all about this height. I've got them just randomly all over the garden. And I haven't seen any flower buds yet, but I'm expecting a decent harvest of some fall peas. So wish me luck on that. I got this, I thought I pulled out all the Swiss chard. This pink Swiss chard is still coming on. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest it and we'll use it. It's not my favorite thing in the world for sure, but might as well grab it while we're here. Ooh. Another random tomato, the borage is still flowering. Well, here's another zucchini. Nope, another one. It's a big one. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> but they make the best banana bread. It's okay. Look, here's a little baby pumpkin. See if you can grow, little guy. You don't have much time. Well, as excited as I was about the beads, they seem to be growing a little slowly. I'm not seeing any bulbs forming yet, so oh, I'm hoping that they grow. It is a bit dry. It's not been water, um, watered in a while, so I do need to water it. Yeah, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. This is cilantro. Guys, come look. The cilantro is coming up great, just in time for salsa making. Lots of spinach coming up, broccoli. So, oh. I'm so happy. I never tried it before growing my own cilantro from seed this late in the season to match salsa making time. Works. Yay for us. Another oops. Sorry, Mr. Squash. I'm kind of over you, but you'll go to the chickens and they're going to love you. You're just the right size. Come on. So I'm still getting squash on the regular. And we like them just grilled up um, with some zucchini. Um. And then I have, Todd, you're standing on them. Show them all the potatoes that are done. So this back end of the garden bed is totally done with growing potatoes. The front half is still a little green. So let's just peek. Oh, nice. This is Kennebec's obviously, because they always grow funny. Um, and again, guys, I just laid these on the ground and threw mulch on top. Not planted in the soil. Just, oh, oh no, there's a lot. Um, oh man, wow. Isn't it so fun to harvest potatoes? I'm not going to do all of these today. We will do them. Um, another time, but I at least wanted to show you what we've got still yet to harvest in the garden. That's fun. Okay, it is full force green bean harvesting time, and I've not been out here in five days, so they are exploded on me. And some of them are way too far gone. So as always, they'll go to the chickens, but there's a lot. So I'm gonna kindly ask Todd to set the camera down and help me, because we're on a time crunch. We need to wrap this up to get in for Monday or Sunday night football, because it's the Lions' first game. to be smart No need to dress up for me to see that you're a good man You're a good man
as you can see, there's still a lot coming in. I've got a basket full of tomatoes, green beans, squash, zucchini, pumpkins are still coming on. Probably the next garden video you'll see from me is the big potato harvest. I need to get out here and do that. So if you haven't subscribed to us, I wanna invite you to go ahead and subscribe. We're almost to our 10,000 subscriber mark, guys. If you haven't shared us yet, we'd so appreciate you sharing our videos. Thanks guys for watching and we'll talk to you soon.